All right, you guys, yes, I know, I know it is not Tuesday, and that is simply because yesterday I was on um, site on the at the new hospital. I don't know if I've told you guys about this, but we're moving to a new hospital. I'm really excited about it, but we have to obviously get trained on our new EMR system because we're switching from one system to another, so that's what I was doing, so a video didn't come out yesterday. But I have one for you today, and so in this video, we're gonna be talking about when is the best time to retake classes if you have to do so because there are several people that have to retake classes so let's get into the video what's up you guys it's Adana. welcome back to my channel okay you guys so yes I usually do videos on Sunday and Tuesday so be sure to come back every Sunday and Tuesday for my videos sometimes on Wednesday uh, the occasional Wednesday I will do a video if I did not do one on Tuesday or if I just have like something that I want to show you guys so today's video uh, I had a question posed by one of my subscribers and if you are a subscriber if you have looked at any of these videos thank you so much for subscribing if you're new to my channel take a look around if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot okay you guys uh, but I had this question asked by Emma Mirtha and she said can you do a video when you to retake classes for example if you have several seasoned chemistry and calculus is it worth it to retake a couple of those classes or just move on and do the best you can in your upper division science classes okay so Emma this is a great uh, great great question because again like there are several of us who you know when you were in your undergrad like and in your like early undergrad years so freshman sophomore year where you're taking like biology and general chemistry you weren't really paying that close attention to what was going on because it was fresh you're in school you're away from home for the first time you're like out having good time with your friends and so your grades can kind of suffer uh, and there are lots of people that kind of fall into that pitfall and then sometimes it's not even a matter of you're out partying or whatever the case may be it may be it was just a stressful time in your life it is very important to understand when to retake classes but all of that Emma determine is kind of determined on you or determined by you okay so it all matters whether or not you want to go directly into PA school from undergrad or not that will give you a more I guess the general idea on when you can retake classes so your classes for PA school your prerequisites they like to have them within the last five seven or ten years it all depends on the program that you're applying to but generally speaking I would say like seven years is kind of like your average okay it's right in between the five and the ten um, there are some schools that have some requirements like certain classes would have had to have been completed within the last uh, 13 months or the last two years but those are kind of outliers the majority of programs like five seven and ten so remember those numbers five seven ten okay so once you understand that um, that kind of gives you a gauge on hey okay if I did really really bad in my in my sophomore and freshman year how much time do I have to retake these classes um, or from before like my older classes that I'm not retaking kind of become obsolete so technically speaking the best time to retake your classes is right then and there right so if you have the opportunity to take summer courses then absolutely do those um, I graduated uh, you know before I really thought hey I want to get into PA school so a lot of my classes were taken as, as summer classes as accelerated summer classes because I knew that I wanted to get into PA school like fairly quickly um, even though I had already graduated, because I'd already been out like of school for some years, you know, living a family life, I guess you can say. So for me, um, I made sure that I kind of knocked out all of my classes all at once. But if for somebody like, you know, maybe you're in undergrad still, then it might be to your benefit to really just kind of move on, do your best in all of the courses that you have left, and then focus on those courses that you did really bad in that you have like, let me not say really bad, but bad for PA school because C's aren't like, you know, PA school, like this is going to get you in type of thing. If you have several C's, especially in your prerequisites science courses, like your chemistries, your biologies, your 
Um, and even in your math, that may be a prerequisite requirement, like your statistics or your Cal, then it's imperative that you redo those classes. There are several schools who require you to have nothing lower than a B. So B minus isn't going to cut it, let alone a C. So you really have to first and foremost, look at the program, see what their requirements are. And then after that, what you need to be doing is looking to see when you're trying to apply. Are you trying to apply with in one or two years, you want to get yourself some experience, you want to retake these classes, then you know when the best time to apply um, to retake those classes are. Right now, right after PA school, whenever you have free time, right? Uh, if you have a little bit of time to kind of kill, I guess you can say, you know, you're not trying to apply for another three or four years, um, you're kind of cutting it close with respect to uh, your five year math mark but your seven year mark is fine and your 10 year mark is way down the line so if that's the case then you really have the opportunity to take your time make sure you're doing really well in those classes that you need to retake make sure you're getting those uh, direct patient care experience hours to make yourself the best candidate another thing that you should absolutely keep in mind is with respect to how many classes you need to retake right so if it's just one or two classes that you have seasoned but the rest are fairly good you know grades you have b pluses a's that kind of thing then yeah you know take it immediately uh, on your summer vacation your next two summer vacations or um you know your summer and winter breaks take those classes online there are several programs that are offering online classes or hybrid classes that are completed within six to seven weeks do it because then that way you don't waste any time at all you know you're not waiting sitting up here waiting for all of your classes to be done for you to be graduated from undergrad and then take these classes once you've graduated you can knock them out right then and there but if you have more classes then you have time um, in your undergraduate I guess career then you should absolutely go ahead and plan that out so hopefully this answered your question please guys continue to leave me questions in the comment section below please go ahead and subscribe and like this video because like I said it helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot which means my videos will get out to more people and more people will know about this beautiful profession the PA profession, um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Adana PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.